Here we go, check this out. Now this is something I resonate with, Jubilee. Six US citizens versus one secret non-citizen. Can we sniff out the immigrant? Let's try, I myself am an immigrant to the US. So, you know, this is this hits, a, this hits close to home for me. So let's get into it. We brought together seven US citizens. I am a US citizen. I am not a citizen. I hope to be, hopefully in a couple years, I can take that test and and pass hopefully and get the citizenship i've been here now for 15 years i've been here 15 years about half my life now and i'm and i still am two years away from getting my citizenship so anyways a little background <laughs> i am a citizen 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 i'm a u.s citizen one is a liar if the group discovers who the liar is they'll split a cash prize if the liar survives, he or she wins the entire prize. All right, guys, work as a team. We have to do this together. Let's, let's, should, let's do this real quick. Where were people. you born? Does it matter? Yes. Where were yeah. you born? California. Where San were Diego. you born? San Diego. Wait, what a, what a dog shit strategy that was, dude. Where were you born? Does it matter? Yeah. Yes, yes, that's the only thing that matters in this game. Literally the only thing that matters. I like it just goes, yes, next. It's like, clearly you're the one, clearly. Where were yeah. you born? California. Where Sydney. were you born? San Diego. Vancouver, Canada, dual. Okay, he just copied her answer, but now they're bonding over it, so I kind of believe that. Citizen, nice. US and Canada. North Cal. <laughs> Orange County. Orange County. And what about doesn't you? matter. You said, what you about you? Matter? What about you? Once the timer started, everyone was just like yelling. He's definitely overcompensating by starting off the questioning. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Wait, no, why no, are you no, trying no. to stay mysterious? But he why don't you tell us? He doesn't want to tell us. He's a citizen. Yeah. No. We've got 27 yeah. seconds left. <laughs> but no, how long have you been in the US? What do you think? Oh my God, what is this? What's going on, dude? What kind of a fucking strategy is this? <laughs> I thought the first speed round was awesome. It was really cool. I think I kept my composure and stayed mysterious. People often look at me as an international man of mystery. <laughs> is this satire? I, I kind of like this. If it is, if not, ooh. Rough. Has anyone actually said that they're an international man of mystery unironically? I kind of hope that he did, to be honest, because that's just, you gotta respect it at that point. You gotta be like, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna argue with that. You are mysterious and you do tend to travel internationally, so. <laughs> Good to meet you. You can't tell us where you're from? He looked right into my eyes and said, I'd tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Okay. Okay, so he's an actor. I see. He's playing a part here, which is smart, but weird. This guy's just using this as like an acting exercise, you know? When, when there's money on the line, dude. But he's like, I don't care about that. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm using this as a showcase. I'm trying to get booked. Trying to get some auditions out of this. I'm voting you off. He was kind of shady, but then he made it too obvious. Would they really say that and make themselves stand out? I think he's good. Him, he has oh, way too much God. poise. <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused. You're well too well spoken. There's no information. Citizen. I thought voting him out, we could just continue the game. He's just too uh, collected. He's just too uh, well put together. I thought he was trying to get himself voted out. This will go down as literally the worst performance in one of these videos. I mean, his performance was not bad, but I'm saying like performance gameplay wise, horrendous, could not be worse. I love that he was so confident too. Like I think it went pretty well. First round, like, you know, had people guessing, fucking kept them on their toes a little bit. They're like, who is this guy? Who is this mystery man? I think people thought I was fucking hot too. I think they were looking at me like, damn, that dude's fucking breedable too. And then just cut to, eh. sorry, man, you just, you're weird. I don't know, I couldn't, I didn't get it. He's like, cool, well, I'm off to Italy anyways. International man of mystery. I felt pretty sad getting voted off in the first round, but at the same time, I left the stage leaving an unforgettable impression on these people. <laughs> I love him. I love him. That's the, this is, 
this guy's a fucking legend. We we need to remember this on this channel, this moment. This video is from three years ago too. I wonder if he's been in other videos and if he has, so you gotta send them to me. Who is this guy? I need to meet him. Everyone feels confident that you already got the mole. You can end the game now. Raise your hand. Oh my God, imagine if they just ended the game two minutes and 20 seconds in and they were right. It was him. Oh, that would have been so good. If you have any doubt and you would like to continue the game, Okay, continue after me. Oh, say, can you see? No, stop, stop. <laughs> Everyone's singing together. There's one person that's singing it just like a, like a millisecond behind everyone else. Say, see, by the dawn's early. Like, I don't even know the fucking lyrics. I would lose this for sure. He'd be like, oh, say, can you see? And I'd say, by the fawns early fly. What'd you say? I don't know. What'd you say? By the fawns early fly. By the fawns early fly. Isn't that what it is? Some dude named Sean. He's he's got to get on an. He's got an early flight. By the Sean's early fly. Because we everyone know ever in America everyone knows that dude named Sean. That's always booking flights a little bit too early. By the dawn. Turn light. Oh. Don't turn in light. Okay, that's even worse than mine. Oh. By the, oh. the dawn's early light. I got really nervous, especially because I'm not a singer. Like, I can't sing for the life of me. It's, you know, part of our culture. You don't have to be able to hit the high notes. So yeah. if she were naturalized as a citizen, she would know certain things like... Naturalization is the process by which U.S. citizenship is granted to a foreign citizen after he or she fills the requirements established by Congress in the Immigration National Nationality Act. That's what I'm doing right now. And I think probably maybe part of the test is you have to learn the lyrics to that, maybe. I yeah. wasn't naturalized. That's, that's I, was okay. I, I became naturalized and like I did not have to sing the anthem. It would have been better if we could have just like approached things a little bit more calmly and like not like sing for me. <laughs> I was Where born in from? America. Okay. I was born in Chula Vista, which is nice. like San Diego. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Before we can make any more <laughs> assumptions, I think we should get to know each other first. Yeah. Rather right. than going yeah. to Where the ain't got time born? for that, bro. San Jose. Okay. I'll come you no hospital. Have you lived in NorCal all your life? No, my parents got divorced. Okay, so where so you, you went go to different places? For? Jersey, uh, Korea, yeah. We're in Jersey. Oh, so wait, you went to Morris Korea? County, yeah. I can't answer everything, but we're wasting time here. <laughs> I hate this guy. Sorry, but like, uh, this is what happens when you. This is what happens when you act smarter than everyone at the beginning, and you're like, no, let's do it my way. Then people are like, oh, okay, and then they just start to alter question you. You know. They're like, this guy's a fucking dick. Oh, guys, we're wasting time here, okay? I'm the odd man out expert here. I know how to play this game. Please, because I am smarter. Because he was ever in questions about him living abroad, I think he brushed over it a little too quickly. And you, oh. Michaela? Sorry, your story. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I was born in Vancouver, Canada, and then I moved to the States when I was 10, Grand Rapids, Michigan. And she's in the clear, so. Are one of your parents Canadian, one of them is American, so that's how you have your dual citizen? I got my green card because my dad got a work visa. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yep. And then when were you awesome. naturalized as a citizen? I got naturalized October 12th last year. So mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. Fuck yeah. Seriously, I'm stoked stoked about that. Nice work. I hope that it'll happen to me too, so. Yay, America. Okay, so tell me about <laughs> America. The pleasantries are for later, not while you're trying to win money, you know? Have any of you guys traveled yeah, outside the of the country? We all did. Yes, yes. obviously. Oh, like, but where? Like, I've been to the Philippines. Philippines, mm. okay. I've been to London, Canada, Mexico, and Syria. All right, flex. Jesus, okay, we get it. You're rich. <laughs> uh, Syria? Yeah, Why I'm Syrian. Syrian. I'm oh. Syrian. Oh, really? Yes. So how did you oh. get your citizenship? I was born here in Orange. Dude, no one is asking John anything. My man John is standing here, arms behind his back, completely incognito. No one has asked him a single fucking question. John, where are you from, dog? We know nothing about you. Spill. County. I visited Syria when I was like very young. I used to, because my grandparents used to live there, but. Four minutes, 30 seconds. Okay. We have to narrow it down. These two are my biggest suspects right now. You do have Spanish blood in you, I can see. Yeah, that. I do have Spanish blood, see? but I'm not from Spain. See, where I, are you from? I'm from Hoboken, New Jersey, but I was born in, and like I said earlier, I was born in Havana. He was pointing everywhere but himself. He became too pushy. You gotta eliminate candidates, right? Yeah. And I see you as naturalized. I see you as maybe born here. Um, I don't know about you 100%, but after him, yeah, you're sus. Vote him out!
I don't like him. Vote him out. Can get him out of there. I think he is a U.S. citizen, but I just don't want. I don't want him in there anymore. It's just not fun to to watch him. Us. Oh, we're, we're I, I, to I think you're not going to go. be a good liar. I just wanted like a peaceful environment. <laughs> Same. Fuck. I'm with you. And I could hear what people had to say. Listen, I know the the first guy that got voted out was a little bit too unserious. And then this guy was a little bit too serious. I know there's money on the line, but there is a happy medium. There truly is. You can't be too intense because then it starts to work against you. Look at this. It was in the best interest of the other citizens to keep me around because I was really here to play the puzzle, the interesting part. What does it mean to everyone to be American? I was literally just gonna ask oh, yeah, that. Yeah. Freedom to say whatever the heck you want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it's all about um, being who you are, being what you want to be, because in other countries, you can't be transgender. In other countries, you can't even be gay. It's the country of just free expression. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I see it as such a privilege to be able to, like, immigrate here when I'm from Canada, which is, like, an okay... Like, I'm not a refugee. I'm not... I Sometimes I feel a little guilty of being American mm. because, like, don't I... Don't feel guilty. But it's, like, it's such you a... You came in the right way. Don't feel yeah. guilty. All of my family's Mexican, and me having the ability to study here, to have a job here, it's just, it makes such a big difference. I was definitely holding back information. Like, I didn't tell anyone that I live in Mexico because I was scared people would turn on me. Like you said, it's a big source of guilt because mm -hmm. I look at my cousins back in Mexico and they don't have the opportunities that I have. I just got lucky because I got to be born here. Wow. I can kind of feel the same way. My, my mom actually grew up in the Philippines her whole life, uh, lived in a very poor family. And so she got to move here because of the freedom and opportunity uh, and so she met my dad and I was able to be born here and I think that's just so great that she has given me a life of privilege All right, we get it. You guys <laughs> You guys are all you guys are all good people. All right, we get it You guys all feel guilty about the yeah, you know, whatever we get it. Let's play. I miss Darwin <laughs> Darwin wouldn't have Darwin would not stand for any of this bullshit. He'd be like, all right, cool, cool, cool it with the fucking sob stories All right, let's figure this shit out. It's John. What's the worst thing about America to you? White supremacy I would say that's the worst. Had she not answered the question the way she did, I was not going to vote her out. That's too much of a non-U.S. citizen coming across the border. What? <laughs> what? Wait, are you, <laughs> I don't understand. What? what, what the, yeah, that's definitely a foreigner's perspective for sure. No, we actually, what is he saying? Like, U.S. citizens wouldn't have said that? No, we actually fuck with that here. Yeah, I yeah, know, for real. There's hate, there's negativity, and obviously we can't all have empathy and be positive about everything in the world, but I wish we all were empathetic of everyone and everything. The worst thing about... <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. I think everyone would want that. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm <laughs> being a fucking dickhead right now. I wish we all... We're empathetic of everyone and everything. I know I'm fucking being a dickhead right now, but that is a pretty funny quote. I wish we could all be empathetic of everyone and everything. Stick that on a poster, you know? Put that up. Just like, this, this is some shit I live by right here. Don't you wish that? I know not everyone wishes that, but I wish that, you know? It's like being like, why don't we just like solve world hunger? You know? Let's fucking solve it. We've been fucking twiddling our thumbs for too long. Let's solve that shit. Just fucking send some money over there. The worst thing about America right now is that we have an open border in the South and we're allowing everybody to come in and we don't know who's coming in. And that's gonna ruin your futures. Not mine, but yours. But most of them are refugees. And most of them are not refugees. I'm a refugee. Okay. I came over as a refugee. There are refugees who do deeply need help, but he didn't take the side of the unfortunate. And I felt kind of sad to hear that. Refugees don't have cell phones don't have nice clothes, and don't come over to the United States so they can have an anchor baby. You know, you guys are millennials, you don't agree with me, and that's fine. <laughs> the best part about America, we're very inclusive. It's not the first person to tell me that Mexican people should stop coming into the U.S. or that Mexican people are a threat to American freedom. People in America think that way, and I just, I've become used to it by now. It's the truth, especially here in California. Damn, this got like a little bit like political there for a second. Wow. But he's also like, I feel like no one's going to question him now. They're going to be like, this dude's a U.S. citizen. He's talking about closing the border. Like maybe it's an act though. Maybe that maybe he's just saying that. So they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. No, we're not going to. This guy's good. He said he was a refugee, but then he's talking about people having anchor babies. It's confusing. I don't know. When I talk to people that are of Mexican or Central American, I said, you know, it's funny when you're in your country, you're white. 
you cross that border and now all of a sudden you're Hispanic. I believe that she was the mole because of just that. I honestly voted John out for strategy reasons. I felt so bad because I believed her, but I didn't know who to vote out, and I also thought I was on the chopping block. At that point, I really felt as if everyone was a U.S. citizen, so Carolina was my only choice. Raise your hand if you would like to continue the game. I swear. If. <laughs> if it's just I swear. <laughs> If it's no, you, it's if it's you, I'll see you outside. <laughs> I'll see you outside. Okay, did we get him or her? I don't know. I honestly have no idea. I have no idea. I, maybe it's him. I feel like just, just not even based off shit anyone said. I think just based on like gameplay. And it's she, the way she was, was like, if it's you, and he was like, ah, he, didn't, he never really said it's not me. So I don't know. I think it's going to be red. It's yeah. Turn yeah. Green. No. See. See. You. <gasps> I oh. wonder why. I wonder. You were so, excellent. I'm really sorry. Yeah, I'm you gonna see you outside. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. I knew it. I'm I knew sorry. it was you. He knew the correct things to say before we went up. He was like being so nice and like, oh, we're in this together. Like we're gonna get the mole. <laughs> That's how you fucking play it right there. That's how you play it. Well, I'm sorry. I trusted you. I know. <laughs> as soon as I met them, uh, I know that I had to manipulate them. I knew I had to lie to them. And I felt bad. I felt so bad. Sorry, guys. So I am a Filipino citizen. I moved to America three years ago only for college. So I'm here on a student visa. I really want to- I've been there, brother. I've been there. Be a US citizen. So I'm hoping for that one day for it to be the real deal. <laughs> I can't believe it. You guys love oh, I can believe it. I can. The nature of this game to unfairly judge people. Being a US citizen can look differently. It can sound different. Everybody can be American, whether like your skin tone is lighter, darker. It's not related to your culture. It's not related to your language. We all have different opinions. We all have different mindsets. Not everyone's gonna think like you or act like you. <laughs> Switches to John. He's like, just, I fuck, just fucking close the border. You know what I'm saying? Like build the fucking wall, you know? <laughs> Oh man, that was a really funny dynamic. Going from like the Gen Z slash millennial people and they're like, I just want to be empathetic towards everyone and everything. Switching to John and he's just like, illegal immigrants are stealing your guys' futures. That one, that one turned out way more like political than I thought it was. I thought it was just going to be like people reciting the anthem and like, I don't know, like US trivia. Fucking, I don't know. Who was the first president? It's shit like that, you know? What is America's pastime? Tell me right now. But it turned out more political than than that. Anyways, I, I hope to be an American citizen. My baby, my child is gonna be American. Kelsey's American. My whole, all my friends are American. Everyone, my whole life is here. Besides my family, of course. My, the family to which I was born and raised is still there. So it's not my whole life. But uh, my whole life since college, you know? So that's a little backstory on me, but um, no, but if we're being for real, I do kind of wish we could be empathetic towards everyone and everything. And if you also agree with that, then blow up the comments with that quote and like the video for me. And when, when you do like the video, just prove it by going to the comments and be like, I like this video because I just was so empathetic towards you. And I just wish people were empathetic towards every, everyone and everything. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate you, and uh, we'll see you in the next one later.